Hello class. So unfortunately I can't be live with you today, but I'm doing this recorded lecture. This lecture is going to be really important to be able to complete your discussion for this week. Um, so first we're going to continue talking a little bit about goal setting. And the reason why we're talking about goal setting is because as you move forward in higher education, it's important to understand what goals you're working towards in terms of career for later on in life and for current goals of doing well in school and completing a degree in a major that you're interested in. So in your reading for the week, you're reading both about goal setting and career and major exploration. Your quiz is also based on goal setting. So we wanna keep in mind tips for success for staying motivated. You wanna keep your eye on your long-term goals while working toward immediate goals. So for instance, if your goal is to get a bachelor's degree in psychology, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that in mind while you're working toward immediate goals like being able to study and pass an exam or complete a research paper or complete a certain class with a passing grade. You wanna keep your priorities straight. You wanna work on keeping an your positive attitude and keeping company of positive people. That's why it's really important to, you know, make relationships with classmates in your class because you guys can support one another as you're working towards an end goal. You don't want to let past habits drag you down. College is a time where you can reinvent yourself. You can change ways if you need to, if things weren't working for you in the past. You wanna plan ahead to avoid last minute pressures. That's why we've talked so much about time management and different strategies to help you plan ahead so that you're not getting overwhelmed. You wanna focus on your successes and the things you're doing well. And if you're having trouble, you wanna ask for help, whether that means talking to a counselor, talking to your instructors, meeting with a tutor. You want to break large projects down into smaller tasks. Again, the importance of time management, keeping a calendar or a planner, reminders on your phone, to-do lists. Reward yourself for completing significant tasks. Avoid multitasking and networking with other students. So your book talks about, and we watched in the video that's on your week six module, the idea of a SMART goal and what that stands for. When you're setting your goals, you want them to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. So SMART is an acronym to help guide you with goal setting. It helps you develop goals which are clear and reachable. So for specific, you want the goal to be simple, significant, and sensible, measurable and meaningful and motivating, achievable and attainable for you, specific to you, and you want it to be a relevant and realistic goal for yourself. You also want to know how much time a certain goal is going to take to complete. When you're thinking about priorities, you want to think about what is most important to do right now, and that helps keep you focused on your long term goals. Time management, again, can help juggle priorities, especially when you're taking a variety of classes in college and you need to keep all of your assignments and exams organized in a way that you're preparing for each one. You want to have an attitude for success. Um, it's easy to get, you know, stumped if something doesn't go your way. So you want to be able to keep a positive attitude and search for help if you need it. I want to jump over to career and major exploration, which is what you're going to be looking at as for this, um, for this discussion this week. And we're, the reason why we're doing career and major exploration, so you can start to kind of reflect on what you're interested in studying, what you're interested in working towards as a goal in higher education and in your career. And because in the following weeks, we're gonna start doing your educational planning and looking at what kind of classes you would need to complete a certain type of goal. So on the module, we have discussion five. So we're gonna go through this. In college as in life, there are many paths you can choose. While in college, you can earn an associate's degree, a certificate, an associate degree for transfer, 
transfer to a four-year university or a combination of these options. Before you decide what path you want to take and what goals you want to work towards, it is important to figure out what your interests are and how they can relate to a possible major and career. The career planning process includes evaluating your interests, work values, personality, and skills and how they will relate to different occupations. Additionally, it requires researching different majors and careers. So there's two major parts with very specific instructions. So the good thing is that you're gonna have this recorded lecture to go back to that while you're working on this assignment, if you get confused, you can come back to this lecture and see what I was talking about. So part one is career exploration. For part one of your discussion, you will complete an assessment, reflect on the results, and then research a career that corresponds to your interests. Read all of the directions below before starting the assignment. So it's really important that we read all the directions first because there are many parts to this. Number one, go to the following link and complete the 30 question survey, which is called the interest profiler. And I'm gonna show you how that look, what that looks like in a second after we go through the initial instructions. Number two, once you have completed the survey, click on view occupations. Now that you have completed the interest profiler and learned more about yourself and what occupations could align with your personality type, values and skills, you're going to research and explore one occupation slash career in detail. Change the job zone filter to job zone four. Click filter. Review all jobs given in your results and choose one. After you have followed all the steps above, type your answers to the following questions in your discussion post. So before we get to this part, I'm gonna show you how to do this part. So first, number one, go to the following link and you're gonna complete the 30 question survey. So I click on the link and it's gonna show me this page. I wanna click on here, go start a new interest profiler. Oops, I don't know why it's telling me that. Let's go here. So I'm gonna go here, click on go, and then say 30 question mini. You're just doing the mini one. Read the directions. You're going to have 30 questions about work activities that some people do on their jobs. Read each question carefully and decide how you would feel about doing each type of work. And it shows you what each picture means. So this would be strongly dislike, dislike, unsure, like, and strongly like. At any point during the profiler, you can change your answer to a question. Simply use your mouse to move the question where you want to change your answer, then select your new answer. So I click on next. As you make your choices on the interest profiler, try not to think about whether you have enough education or training to perform the activity or how much money you would make performing the activity. Simply think about whether you would like or dislike doing the work activity if you had a chance to do it. Click on next. This is not a test. There are no right or wrong answers. You can take all the time you need. The only goal is for you to learn about the interest so you can explore work that might be satisfying and rewarding to you. Click begin. So then it's gonna have statements here like build kitchen cabinets. You can decide whether you strongly dislike it, sort of dislike it, unsure, like it, or strongly like. Um, I would say I'm not sure. And then you click next and you do all 30 questions. Once you do all 30 questions, you're gonna get, you're gonna click summarize and you're gonna get your top three interest area in order of importance. So this is showing that your top three interests and then you're gonna click on view occupations. Okay, it's doing this because, <laughs> because I didn't answer in an honest way. I just went quickly through it so that I could show you guys, but that doesn't help me. Darn. So let's try here. I'm going to go through this so that we can see. Of course, you're going to take time and actually read this. I'm just showing doing this quickly so that I can show you how to do the next part of the assignment. Again, you're gonna read each individual. I want you to actually take your time doing this. I just need to do this because <laughs> I need to show you the assignment. Okay, then you click summarize when you're done. I, you get your top areas of interest, view occupations, 
Now here I have a bunch of occupations. If I want to add a filter, I need to click on job zone four. That's gonna mean that it needs a college education. So you're gonna click job zone four and close and update. Then it's gonna show you all the different results of all these occupations. And you can click on the occupation and learn about it. So if we come back to the directions, I did the 30 question survey. I clicked on view occupations. I put job zone four, and now I'm gonna choose one occupation from that list. After you have followed all the steps above, type your answers to the following questions in your discussion post. Write the title and brief description of the career in your own words that you choose from job zone four. Do the knowledge, skills, abilities, and personality provided match your own? Give examples. What is the training and or education in order to pursue this career? Be sure to list any degrees, certificates, and or licenses required. Identify one thing you like about this career and explain why it appeals to you. Identify one thing you found surprising or disliked about this career and explain. What will you do now that you have done this research? What steps will you take? So one through five, all of that information you will be finding by clicking on the occupation that you choose. It talks about the salary, talks about the education and training, certifications, what they do on a daily basis, types of skills you need. So this is a really great website because you can learn all about these different careers and you only have to write about one. After you complete, so you do this part and in your part one for your discussion, you're writing the answers to these six questions. Then there's part two, which is major exploration. Every college student has to declare a major. Part two of the discussion is designed to help you begin to think about your educational goals and what major you want to pursue. This discussion will help you complete the student educational plan, which is your last major project this semester, which we'll introduce next week. But this is part of what you will need for that major project. So you want to make sure that you complete it because it's going to make that major project much easier. First, think about what your educational goal is. Do you want an associate's degree from LA Mission College, which is a community college? Do you want to transfer from a community college to a four-year university? Or do you want an associate degree for transfer and transfer to a university? Sometimes, so first you're choosing what goal you want. Sometimes students are unsure about what major to choose. We are often clear about what we don't want as a major. First, you're gonna review the list of majors on the Alima major worksheet and cross out all majors that are not interesting to you. So I would look at this sheet and it's downloading. So first I'm gonna go through this list and cross out or take note of all of the majors that don't interest me. Then review the remaining majors that you didn't cross out and circle your top three majors that you would like to research. Put them in order of interest. Number one would be your most interesting of the three. Number three would be the least interesting. Choose one major you would like to explore for your discussion. So you can choose either to get, um, you're choosing either a major to get an associate's degree from LA Mission College in, or you're choosing a transfer major and a specific university. So you're choosing an educational goal of either an associate's degree from a community college or transferring from a community college to a four year university. So you have their educational goal and your major that you're going to explore. After you have followed all the steps above, type your answers to the following questions in your discussion post. Explain what your educational goal is and why you have chosen that educational goal. So you're choosing one of these goals here from number one. What is the name of the major you have chosen to explore? Write down the major. Describe the major in your own words. So you wanna make sure that you're writing in your own words, not cut and paste from a website. Name of a transfer school or university, unless you're looking at an associate's degree from LA Mission College. So I'm gonna ask that you choose a Cal State or a UC. Um, and for the 
for the um, purposes of this project, because I'm going to help you look at what kinds of classes you would need to take as a transfer student if you're preparing for a major at the community college prior to transferring to a university. Then you're going to list all of your required coursework for your major. If you're going to be doing your transfer to a university as an educational goal, we're going to be using a, web a website called Assist, and I'm going to show you how to use that. Or if you're going to get an associate's degree from LA Mission College, then we're going to be using the catalog, and I'll show you how to do that. So say my educational goal is to transfer from LA Mission College to Cal State Northridge. And I'm gonna do a major of psychology. So I've followed all these instructions and that's what I've chosen. I'm gonna to go to this website, assist.org. This is the website that will help us figure out what major lower division courses I would need to take to prepare to transfer from LA Mission College to Cal State Northridge as a psychology major. So again, you wanna keep coming back to this video if you need help with the discussion because it is a very um, specific instructions. So here I would click the first institution where I'm gonna transfer from, LA Mission College. And here I'm gonna find the school I'm interested in. So again, for this project, you're gonna choose either a Cal State or a UC, and you can search all the different ones if you're not sure. Once I pick the two colleges, I'm gonna click on view agreements. Then here for the major, I'm gonna be exploring psychology. So I pick psychology and then click on view agreement. When I'm looking at the agreement, what I wanna focus on, on are on these lower division major prep courses here on the right side of the page. These are the courses I would be taking at LA Mission College in my first couple of years to prepare for the major and to be a competitive applicant to transfer to Cal State Northridge. So then on my discussion, I'd be writing Psych 1, General Psychology, it's three units. Psych 2, Biological Psychology, three units. And then here it's just one math class. It's saying to choose one of these math classes, that's why it says or. So Math 227, Elementary Statistics, four units. So I'd come back to my discussion. I've answered what the educational goal is, the major, the name of the school is CSUN. I'm listing all the required coursework, which are those three courses on the right side of assist. And then I'm done with this part. Now say your educational goal is instead to get an associate's degree from LA Mission College, um, excuse me, from LA Mission College. Well, if we look at our reading for the week, I can see that there's a list of all the associate degrees offered at LA Mission College in the catalog from pages 16 through 70. So say I wanna get an associate's degree in psychology from LA Mission College. I'm gonna search. I know I first need to go to page 16. That's where the list of, and I can click it in here. That's where the list of um, associate degrees and certificates are gonna start. And you're going to search, it's in alphabetical order, for the major that you're interested in. Now, again, you don't have to do both this and assist. You can choose one or the other. It depends on what your educational goal is. If you only want an associate's degree, which is about two years at a community college, you're going to choose an associate's degree from LA Mission College. If you want to transfer to a university, you're going to use assist.org. So say I wanted to do an associate in arts and art. These are all the required courses I would need. I would select two from the following four. So I'd pick two of these classes and then complete the, these courses. So I would list all of that in my um, discussion. If you have any questions along the way this week while completing these assignments, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Remember that you also have a quiz on goal setting for the week. So remember, hopefully you've finished up your college survival skills portfolio and submitted that. That's due on Sunday. The discussion five is due on Sunday and the quiz is due on Sunday. I hope you all have an amazing week. Please send me a Canvas message or an email if you have any questions. Take care.